Hey everybody, I am cooking up the rest of this bacon because it's about to go bad. So I'm kind of doing some meal prepping today. I'm also going to be making myself breakfast at the same time. So I'm going to be using some of this bacon in an omelet. I'm going to cut up some onions to have diced up in the refrigerator. I'm going to hard boil some eggs. I'm going to take some meats out that I can pre-cook like ground beef and things to have in the refrigerator. I'm not showing my face yet because trust me, I fell asleep with makeup on and you don't want to see that. You see me make my coffee. I got to add my cream and sugar and we have a grocery haul today. So it's going to be a productive day. I don't get my groceries until about three o'clock and I got to come up with a meal plan and everything for the week. So stick around to see what I end up doing for meal prep. So I have my omelet cooking. I love my cast iron skillet so much. My omelet just has some of that bacon. I did add some of the onion in with the bacon because bacon and onion together, I don't know what it is, but it's flipping amazing. And cheese and some spicy ham. And I just seasoned it with black pepper and then my favorite seasoned salt ever. And I have about four eggs in there that I'm starting to boil. I'm gonna add some more. Who's dead? What's new? What is my life? Probably gonna do, um, we'll do six more in there in case the kids want some too. And then I'm probably gonna make up some tuna fish. All right, so here's my omelet. My eggs are done. I went ahead and prepped two keto chows, um, peanut butter chocolate and pistachio. I'm gonna do two more, but I think Corey has my keto chow cups downstairs and I uh, got my coffee. I took out some ground beef and some sausage because I'm going to cook those up and have those just cooked and in the refrigerator for meals throughout the week. And I'm going to make some tuna fish in separate little containers for me to take to work during the week. All right. So I have four things of tuna fish laid out here. I put a tablespoon of mayo in each one, a teaspoon of sweet relish. I got that at Meyer. It's sugar free. Um, one celery stalk chopped up and then I put some of that diced onion in there and I'm going to mix these up, put the lid on them, put them in the fridge. I'm going to be able to have those throughout the week. And then I chopped up the rest of the celery and I just got to put the, uh, peel the eggs, put them in something or maybe I won't peel them. No, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to clean this up and I'm going to finally eat my omelet. Dishwasher's going. This is my super simple meal prep for the week. Two keto chows, four things of tuna, and some hard boiled eggs. I have to get my eggs on this. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Okay, right, so I got a package from Marva. She had sent me something from the Home Shopping Network. You like my hair? <laughs> I don't know, sometimes I feel like I do things to my hair that makes me look like a little kid. Anyways, she sent me something from the Home Shopping Network and, wait, what is this? Ooh. Okay, I don't, maybe this is not what I thought it was. What is this? This is a four, four quart cast aluminum roaster with glass lid. Oh my gosh, this is, nice what the heck holy cow i am so confused i thought she said she wanted me to try a keto treat that was coming from the home shopping network i'm confused look at this this is beautiful oh my god i'm so excited i may have to change my dinner plans oh my god you can make fried chicken in this garlic shrimp you can poach salmon this is a horrible angle risotto oh my gosh roasted chicken that oh penne pasta with salt. oh my god homemade chorizo and potato tacos what i did not know that oh my god so this can this whole thing can go in the oven up to 450 degrees oh my god this is so nice wow it's a non-stick. I'm, this lid is so heavy. This is glass and this can, and it has a seal in here. I can cook things in here and I can then like transfer them to the oven. Oh my God. I'm so excited about this. This is like the coolest thing. How freaking cool is this? I'm so confused though. Girl, I thought you were saying, I thought that you said that it was, um, that it was, I gotta go read your email. I'm so confused right now. 
Okay, so I spoke with Marva and she did send this and she is sending the chocolate still. I was so confused. I said, did you send this also? Like, I was, I was literally thinking like she bought this for herself and somehow she like bought it at the same time as the chocolates and maybe mixed it up and then I wasn't supposed to get this, but she said, no, she did get it for me. So thank you, Marva. <laughs> That's so kind of you. It really is. This is the coolest thing ever i just emailed you and i asked you what you think i should like make in this because i really i really want to use this tonight i'm really excited and i can't stop looking at myself i look like a dog i feel like these look like dog ears speaking of dog he's a little wild right now a little the grocery haul this is the walmart grocery pickup i ordered this yesterday picked up today there was a few substitutions and um something they didn't they were completely out of the power aid zero so i didn't get any power aid zero the substitutions i'm completely fine with we also needed garbage bags and we went to big lots where i found a couple of really cool things that i want to show you guys so if you have a big lots near you you guys can run out there and grab these things all right so let's start over here i seen this at big lots this is sparkling polar with uh, coconut it's coconut limeade zero everything it's just a sparkling drink sparkling water so I'm excited to try that see how it is they have this at Walmart this is the cheddar cheese whisk these are snack packs I thought this would be really easy to just grab a little sample this would be really easy to just grab a little thing for lunches I got two packs of these tortilla style protein chips from Quest. I like Quest chips with nachos to make nachos with. They're so good. I got some more of the drink mixes. This is Orange Blast, Strawberry Watermelon. I got a big pack of Bratwurst. My family is quite large. As you know, I have four kids. So we go through some Bratwurst when we have brat. Plan on making some pizza. So got some Rails homemade pizza sauce. This is the lowest carb. This is only two net carbs per a fourth cup. Two packs of frozen green beans. Some more tuna fish. My tuna that you just seen me make in a meal prep. The boys ate all four of them. Yeah, I wasn't happy. Got a nice big thing of half and half. Some ranch dressing. Two packs of the Oscar Mayer beef hot dogs. My favorite bread in the world. You guys keep asking me where I get it. I get it at Walmart. This is the white. So I'm gonna try the white this time. The last time I had the five seed. I'm sure this is just as good. I think they also have it in wheat. Uh, I got these uh, mini pita snacks. I don't know, great for dipping, making little tiny snacks. I thought maybe like little tiny pizzas with even. These are eight net carbs for five of them. So you do the math, you know, you can have just a few. And I also picked up the regular sized pita. These ones are seven net carbs per pita. And then the lavish bread, which is six net carbs for half of the of the flatbread. I got myself a bunch of these portable protein packs for days where I just don't have time to make anything or I didn't meal prep or somebody eats my meal prep because yes, that's a thing here. So we got turkey, ham and cheddar, turkey, almonds and Colby Jack, I think were the only three that they had. These are three net carbs, and that's coming from the almonds mostly. Um, these ones are two net carbs. I don't know, they're, they're a nice little way to get your proteins in, and it's something that you can keep in your refrigerator. These, these stay in your, you know, good for quite some time. So they're, they're nice to have on hand. This was a substitution. I wanted the strawberries and cream protein. They did not have that. So I like the bananas and cream too. Two things of cottage cheese, two things of pepperoni. We got three avocados. We got some deli ham and deli roast beef. Um, I this was a substitution. I wanted chopped romaine and I got premium romaine salad. I'm, I'm okay. I guess I'm okay with that. I found this at Big Lots and holy cow, look at this. This is five pounds of Himalayan salt for $4. That is an amazing deal on that. All right, now I also found this at Walmart. And yes, they had other flavors, but I didn't want to 
I didn't want to get any other ones until I tried one and seen how it was because I've tried other keto cereals and I usually don't care for them much. Like I still have two of the Magic Spoon cereals. They're okay. They're nice to have when you're like craving the cereal, but there's just something about them. And then the Catalina Crunch I've had because Meyer sells that and those are okay as well. You could probably use like the Catalina Crunch to make like puppy chow or I don't know. I, I'm just not like a huge fan of it. I like putting it in like yogurt sometimes for like, um, you know, a crunch. But I'm curious how this tastes. This is three net carbs per serving. Serving size is, where are you? A cup. So one cup. And they also have this. So this is two net carbs per a third of the crust and there's two cauliflower pizza crust in here. So it's cauliflower crust and cheese. This is Italian flavored. They also had like a spicy or a, a roasted pepper one I think. So here are the macros for that. So I'm interested in this. Picked up some pure because you guys, I go through this. Pure also has this sugar-free chocolate flavored syrup. So I wanted to try it because I got the sugar-free Hershey's chocolate syrup and it's just something about it I just do not like. So I actually want like chocolate milk, put this in some almond milk. We got all the blueberries, two things of strawberries. And then at Big Lots, I found Lakanto, the golden sweetener for 350 and then the classic for 350 i couldn't pass those up i needed those and then i got the keto steak and the everything but the bagel seasoning this one was a they're both a dollar 25 and then um they had the zone perfect keto white chocolate coconut shake. This is my grocery haul. I did get some other things for the kids. I did get 240 packs of bottled water. So that adds on to this. So I'm going to put all this stuff away and you'll see me when I start cooking dinner. All right, so I'm cooking some ground beef in this, boiling some water because I'm gonna make the kids mashed potatoes and I'm actually, I'm not hungry. It's like 5.30 and I'm still full from my omelet this morning. I'm telling you my medicine is doing this and I'm completely okay with that. But I'm going to make like a ground beef like stew. They're gonna pour that over their mashed potatoes. I'm just gonna eat it. That's if I eat it. Um, it's gonna have some frozen green beans in it. I'm gonna use a little bit of beef broth and the rest of this half and half, it's not very much. And a little bit of xanthan gum to thicken it. Do you guys like these clips? I never throw away those pants hangers. I break the clips off and I use them to close chips and other things like that. So, yeah, okay. This is what I'm making. I'll show it to you when I'm done. And when we try to chase the off, so I have to hide. He's to Say hi. <laughs> hi. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and close out the vlog. This is, it's about like seven o'clock at night. I've actually not eaten anything except for that omelet that you've seen this morning. And I've just been drinking water. I am not hungry. It has to be my medicine. So um, I did weigh in today at 251. So I'm down three pounds since uh, today is Sunday, since I think Thursday. Um, I expect it to be much lower tomorrow and that is only because I, when i weighed it was already after i had eaten my omelet and drank my coffee and everything you know so yeah uh i'm feeling good and i'm gonna go work on my planner for a little bit and edit some videos and happy sunday i don't know when this video will be going up it's probably will not end on a sunday but it's my sunday so i will see you guys in the next one please have a wonderful night and i'll see you guys bye